Hi, I'm Sam Van Hees, one of the founders of the Perfect Product Finder. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a flow, or as others may know it, a product quiz. Let's dive in. As you can see, we're now in the Shopify dashboard, which you're most likely very familiar with. When you've downloaded the app, you can find the app in the menu on the left under apps. And when we click on the app, we land on the dashboard of the perfect product finder. This is where you can see different metrics about the performance of your flows. But for now, we are going to focus on creating a actual flow. To do that, head over to flows. And to create a flow, click on new flow. When clicking on new flow, you land on the creation screen. And this is where you insert the name of the flow and a slug. And the slug defines a unique path for the flow. And it will be part of the URL where the flow can be accessed by customers of your online store. When you're done with this, the flow page will open. And on this page, you can view analytics of each specific flow and its settings. Let's create this flow by clicking on Open Flow Builder. We should start by adding some questions. And you can type in the main question above and any additional info that might clarify the question in the description. Then the answers. You can add as many answers as you may find fitting by clicking on add option. We do recommend to keep it at a minimum because one of the advantages of guided selling and the flow is that it limits choice paralysis. So let's not waste that advantage. By the way, you can also delete questions and drag and drop answers to change the structure. By default, the answers are text only. And you can change this by heading over to the question overview on the left, click on the three dots and select change type. For this example, let's choose single choice with image. Now that we have created the flow that consists of three questions, the next step is matching products to the question and its answers. To do this, you need to click on match products either underneath the answer or above in menu. First, select all the relevant products for this flow. When you have done that, it is time to select the products that fit each question. And you can simply do this by clicking on the check marks. Now that you've matched all the products, let's add another step. By clicking on the add question, a menu with different options will appear. And for this example, let's create an email step. As you can see, you can also fill in your Klaviyo ID number to sync the data with your Klaviyo account. Now that we've created the questions, matched the products and added a email capture step, let's add a welcome screen. The goal of this welcome screen is to make it clear to your customers what this flow is going to help them with. When that's all said and done, let's customize this flow so it blends in perfectly with your brand and your e-commerce website. To do this, click on team settings in the bottom left corner. Here you can adjust the color of the call to action buttons and choose from three different background colors. Default, cool and warm. You can change the font and also upload your logo. I think the flow is finished. Now let's publish it. To publish the flow for the first time, you click on publish from within the flow builder, then head back to the overview and click on publish again. If you did that in the overview, you will then find an automatically generated URL, which you can link to anywhere in your store.
I hope this video gives you a clear understanding on how to create a flow. If that's not the case and you still have any questions, feel free to reach out to support at productfinder.app. And if everything is clear, good luck.